Hey everybody, James the D-Guy from More Motorsports with another tech tip of the day. Today I'm going to show you how to make create a custom catch can for excess crank pressure in your turbocharged or all-motor naturally aspirated vehicle. Things you will need are a drill, a drill bit, flathead screwdriver, hose, hose clamp, and a few zip ties in an empty container. You can use anything from a NOS um, energy drink bottle the plastic ones, the metal ones, it, that's all up to you. Today I have a brake um, dot three brake can that has been used. I cleaned it out, I peeled the label off, and you will drill a hole through the top. Now let me show you how to do that. See I have an ordinary container, a drill bit with a drill bit. I have no size, I have no idea, it's just laying in my toolbox flathead screwdriver for the hose clamp and the hose. Three zip ties to mount it up if necessary. If not, you can just let it dangle. It's all up to you. It's your car. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to inspect it. Make sure the contents are clean, which I've already done. You want to take the drill and drill it straight to the top. Be careful with the power tools because they can hurt you. Okay, that hole does not look big enough. So what I'm gonna do is I would normally step up a drill bit, but I am currently out at this time. So what I'll do is I'll take this drill bit, and this works every time that I've done it. You shove it through, and you kind of just, like you're sawing it. You saw the hole bigger. Go at an angle, it makes the hole even bigger. Well, that looks pretty close. We can try it and test fit, and if it doesn't work, we just go bigger. It's pretty simple. Let's see if the hose fits, and voila, it does. It fits right in there. No problems. Um, some people don't like this idea. They think, why not just spend the $30? This will get you by until you get the $30 to go to eBay or $100 to have one custom made or whatever you guys out there do. This is just a temporary fix to a temporary problem. You can use it as a permanent fix if you want. You can use the NOS can. It looks fancy under the hood. Looks makes people say, hey, you got NOS in there? Most of those people are ignorant, but, you know, that's that's their thing. If they want to think that, that's cool. You can just say, yeah, I got NOS in there. It's like a two-shot of nitrous or whatever. <laughs> Human horsepower or whatever. You can take this and you can wrap duct tape around the opening if it's too loose for you. This is fine for me. It's not a problem. I can find uh, another catch can and do this again if it falls apart, which I have never had one fall apart completely. You'll take the zip ties. You will tie them together, kind of just like this, and that extends the zip tie. Or you can buy longer zip ties, whatever floats your boat. Pull it through. Now you just made a really big zip tie. That's pretty much all this is. And I will show you how to install it on the car. Okay, what you'll need to do here is remove the hose, attach the hose to your valve cover or pollution control valve, whatever you may be running it off of. Take the bottle, slide the hose in the bottle. It's pretty self-explanatory from here on out. Take the zip tie, wrap it around a firm, solid location. In this case, I am using the clutch cable bracket because it is metal and it would work really good. I probably didn't need all these zip ties, but that's just a uh, precaution. I figured, you know, you guys might have a harder problem finding something to zip tie it to. And that is that for that. Let me show you. Now you've got all these really unclean looking zip ties just chilling around in the engine bay. Got a solution for that too. Walk over to the toolbox, get a pair of snips, you cut them right at the seams. And just like that, looks ten times better, catches excess oil so it doesn't dirty your bay up, doesn't pollute the air as bad, which at this point you're turbocharged your vehicle, I don't think you're worried about pollution. I'm not promoting pollution, but you should probably think of another choice if you're trying to save the earth. So you'll get the flathead screwdriver, 
tighten down the hose clamp so it does not come loose. And it's nice and snug. The bottle ain't going anywhere. And that is how you make a cheap custom catch can. Well, that's how you guys do it. If you need any question, if you have any questions, just message me. Get a hold of me through the More Motorsports like page. Go and like it up on Facebook. And if you have any other ideas or tips, send them to me through message on Facebook through the More Motorsports like page. And if they're good enough, I will feature them in a video. And I will give you credit for telling me your idea. So that's all for right now, everybody. And uh, hope you like my video and come back for more. Thanks for watching.